I go lift up your left arm. Lifting up my left arm. Yes, how may I assist you? Aiko, where is the washroom? Please go straight, then turn to your right, and you will see the washroom. Please go straight, then turn to your left, and you will see the food court. Aiko, relax your arm. I am relaxed now. Aiko. Aiko, tell me when you feel pain. Aiko, tell me when you feel pain. Understood. I will let you know. I am starting to feel it. Please let go of my arm. You are hurting me. I don't want to do this anymore. I go process reading. The Canadian dollar gained almost two full cents against the U.S. greenback Friday following the release of a surprisingly strong jobs report in Canada. A. Uh, basically, um, uh, it's my, for my hobby, I like to make uh, build robots since I was four. Uh, this time I built uh, an android which looked almost like human and trying to mimic human behavior. So it could basically do basic stuff like face recognition, up recognition, uh, could do soft math, colors, it can feel pain sensations, and she could do weather, access to weather stations. Uh, she could, uh, if you have access to the net, she could MSN your friend to cancel your going to the movie, or, or she even show directions. So she, she can be used as a receptionist or as like a, at the information desk. Or you could use just basically for at home when you have like a grandparents who can't um, open the door anymore. So when you come, she recognize family members. She will transmit the, the software will transmit into the, the door and lock the door for you. And since some or uh, my grand uh, some like like sample my grandmother, she can't read anymore. So have her to read newspaper for her. Uh, it's also object recognition. It, it know my watch and your watch. The difference between the two. So you put like in front of her. What is this medicine? We say this diabetic, diabetic medicine, and this is like heart disease medicine. So it helps the older elderly. Uh, basically, face recognition. In theory, I uh, the algorithm to calculate about one thousand per second. So it doesn't matter if you wear glasses or you take off your glasses or how, if you know the same person. Um, pretty much that's about it. Uh, yeah, how, did, how did it come about for you to do this? Is this your own personal project? Or? Uh, yeah. Basically it's a personal project as a hobby. Uh, I like to build robots since I was small. Uh -huh. I, I think I made to the final Ontario Science Center when I was in grade 4. Of course I get disqualified because say, I didn't build one. So that's the irony of the fact that now I'm back here again. Uh, this is basically my hobby I do from the basement. The problem is that when I do video the demo from my home, I send it to a corporation, and the problem with that is people say it's fake CG or for, for the shop. They, even large corporations say that it looks like uh, CG from Hollywood, please do not spam us. So it's pretty hard to, uh, to prove your, your, your invention. So hopefully public appearance like Science Center, uh, it proved to people that it's not Photoshop, it's real, and yeah, they could call material scientists to prove that it was here. It's real, you could touch it, <laughs> not on some monitor.